So apparently this week I caused an angry mob to protest in Greece. I'm Paul Richmond. I'm a queer artist. I've painted a lot of things over the years that have pissed people off a little bit. I'm okay with that. But I had a new experience this week over a painting that I made actually a few years ago called Chosen Family. It's a painting of my friend drag queen Nina West and some of the members of her drag family. I grew up in the Catholic Church and I saw this image of the Virgin Mary and Jesus on a stained glass window almost every day. I knew what it was meant to represent, that it was all about family and community and love. And as I got older, I didn't really find those things in the church, but I did find them when I went to my first drag show and I saw all the wonderful creativity and love and the outpouring of just self-expression and acceptance. And I was like, this is my chosen family. And so that's what the painting was about. But unsurprisingly, the painting did anger a lot of people. And I've received so many hate messages uh, through social media, threats, just angry Christians telling me I'm going to go to hell for painting this. Last Friday, I got a message from Nina West pointing to this article talking about how an angry mob in Athens, Greece was protesting over the painting. What? Turns out it was all because of a fake news story that came out in some publication in Greece saying that the Onassis Foundation in Athens had bought the painting and <laughs> was displaying it in their building. The Onassis Foundation did not buy the painting. The painting is in a gallery in LA, still available for purchase, by the way. I'll throw the link down there for that. But it was enough to really upset a lot of people on Greek Twitter. <laughs> and they started making plans to protest at this building that didn't even know that my painting existed. <laughs> I like knowing that my art is causing people to react, whatever their reaction might be. But I think it's very telling what queer people often go through when we do dare to express ourselves and speak a point of view that might go against the grain of mainstream society or mainstream religion. When I receive hate messages, and I receive way too many to be able to respond to all of them, but, but when I do respond, I usually say something like, do you think that Jesus would be proud of you for saying these terrible things to me? Do you think that Jesus cares more about a silly painting or about the way that you treat fellow human beings? And sometimes that actually does make them stop in their tracks and think about it. And maybe for the first time register that they're actually speaking to another human being because prior to that, they probably saw me as something subhuman. I just wanna take this opportunity, especially during Pride Month, to send a message to all the haters out there, whether you're in an angry mob in Greece <laughs> or among the many other thousands of people who have sent me messages telling me what I should and should not paint. I don't care what you think. I'm going to keep expressing myself. I'm going to keep doing what I believe is right. And I'm going to keep advocating for the entire queer community who deserves to be loved and respected just as much as everyone else. So from my chosen family to yours, happy pride, everyone.